Welcome Dark Players 1 and all, today on Street to the Point we're going to be taking a quick look at the throw of a legend, the crafty cockney Eric Bristow. So this was Eric Bristow in his heyday, very rhythmic, very fast and plenty of style. Look at this last art, straight into a handshake. One movement, that is confidence. And notice how still he keeps his elbow and his shoulder on the throw. The elbow height hardly changes from when he aims the dart, draws it back and follows through. And the shoulder is dead still. When talking about Eric Bristow's throw, the first thing that comes to mind is the grip. It's so unorthodox. Just take a look at that. It's so unorthodox, but it keeps the dart so stable. And he has a very, very good release with it. If we look at a photograph of this grip from the other angle, you can see it a little better. Notice how he uses the very top of his thumb, and the thumb is actually quite bent. The dart also goes to the second knuckle of his first finger, which again you don't see a lot of players doing. The third finger appears to be touching it very lightly on the barrel, just as a bit of a stabilizer. And then you have the fourth finger on the point. And of course, not forgetting the legendary pinky which sticks up dead straight in the air. The grip did change quite a bit with time, especially after the dartitis. You can see that the fingers don't stick out as far anymore, it's more wrapped around the dart. One thing that never really changed was his position on the Oki. Eric always chose to stand quite far over to the right hand side of the Oki and very side on. Solid straight front leg, lean in from the waist, keep the elbow and the shoulder nice and still, pull back and push the dart out. Notice as well how he actually brings the dart under his chin, very very low. He was all about stability, straight front leg, push the back leg out, elbow not too high, keeping the dart under his line of sight, pull the dart back and push it out nice and straight. This was actually 10 years after he had darditis, so he was doing quite well after it. But you could still see some signs, look at the pull to his right on this last dart, putting it straight in the one out of nowhere. I did also notice Eric holds a chalk in his opposite hand with the darts. This would be to help him get some more grip on the darts. It's very common, especially back in the 80s. Unfortunately for Eric, the die just did get worse again. If you look at his throw here, just look at how much the elbow rises and how much the shoulder rises as well. He still had a lot of success in patches after the dart like this, but by his own admission he was never quite the same player. But it's only fair to judge a player by their best and what they've actually achieved and that puts this man right up there in the top three or at least the top four to ever throw a dart. And I'm sure most people would agree with that. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching Straight to the Point. Please remember to like and leave a comment and as always, subscribe if you love the darts. Roll the credits.